Hello, hello. Again. Uh, you haven't go. watched um, the games, have no. you, Katsuni? No. All right. Uh, same here, so there. Yeah, we, we're gonna be excited. <laughs> okay, the sieves. Persians, Britons, Saracens and Spanish. Mirror sieves. They are starting 4v4 Arabia because the first game in this uh, uh, quarterfinals it's Arabia. Remember, not dry Arabia, but Arabia, normal Arabia. We have seen the sieves. Now we're gonna take a look at the pockets and the flanks. Okay, in the upper flank we're gonna see uh, VH Britain, uh, blue color against Bacti, uh, Persian, orange color. And in the lower flank is gonna be cool Spanish purple color against uh, Miguel, red color with Persians. Ah, Persians against Spanish and Britons against uh, Persians. So the pockets are Saracen, ACCM, teal color and Britons yellow, uh, gray color for the Vietnamese team and Saracen, Wrath, which changed his nickname to Neymar Brazil, BR, <laughs> yeah, and uh, Spanish, Dogao, yellow color for Brazil team. What do you think, man? I mean, uh, See? the pockets, it's the flanks. It's interesting, uh, civilizations, right? Um, we don't get Huns, we don't get uh, because, Mayans, because it's, Aztecs. It was random, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, this makes it really interesting. Uh, for example, Saracens, would you rather have them as a flank or as a pocket? I don't know, because they don't get any economy bonuses. So yeah, I, yeah, I know. And oh, for Spanish, I would say we would prefer them as a pocket. As Brazil a pocket. has yeah. the Gao, a Spanish pocket. Uh, in the south, it is cool when it's Spanish, so maybe a little better there for Brazil. But in the north, Br um, Britons against Persians <laughs> is uh, is a nightmare in uh, in Castle Age because Persian knights against archers, you know, that bonus such a nice plus bonus. Two. Yes, yeah. yes. But but early on, Britons can do stuff. Uh, yeah, gonna be interesting. Hmm, indeed, it's interesting. And I see Bacti. Look, already sending the villager. Probably he will uh, wall. He will start walling at least in front of that gold and the berries. But his villager is without loom. I think it was easy for Fish to try and delay that house build. Lame that villager, you know. Uh, uh, well, never mind. Let's go back. I'm watching to see if any of the player tries. Uh, to lame a boar, the flanks, especially because we know we know Fiege, right? Fiege yeah, of course. Is, he's a great lamer. I mean, <laughs> great. He he likes to to do this every time he's getting the chance. I see nice deers for him. I mean, if he was uh, if he would have been able to scout properly, look, three pack of of deers for him. For example, yeah. if he could make the the mill uh, between the three deers and in the left right. Uh, four more uh, deers, two more packs yeah. with, with four deers, 11, yeah. 11 deers, that would have been a really, really nice man. 11, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. over a thousand food. Exactly, I mean, uh, you could use... 1,200 probably. You, you, could, yeah. you could use 100 uh, wood for a meal easily for, for a thousand food man, obviously. Yeah. I'm sure you will notice sooner or later. I like also Cool's deers. Look, not far away from from the lumber camp. It's it's a nice from the mill, yeah. Uh, f uh, from the mill, sorry, yes, yes. Yeah. Now they are super close. Yep. Okay, let's see. Saracens and Persians for the Vietnamese team as pockets. Yeah. And Saracens and Spanish. All right. Spanish, yep, and Saracens, well, they are not too, too different, right? I mean, Britons, Britons, pockets, uh, yellow for the Vietnamese team. And, yeah, ACCM Saracens, and ACCM is also bringing the deers to the town center. You saw Fiat, um 
flaring at yeah, the yeah. north. Yeah, so yeah. He, he noticed. He noticed, yeah. He's having a great... Well, if I put the fog of war and I will now, or mm -hmm. VH. Yeah, man, he can see all the deers there. Yeah. 11, 11, that's like a heaven. Imagine if he would have been Mongol. <laughs> and he's going, that's, he's going that would be heaven. Yep. Okay. Barracks. He's going out with two militia to be there as soon as possible, but... Um, back T is walling. Back T has walled uh, in the front already. And yep. he's walling the sides. Uh, I think it will be walled by the time he arrives. Yeah, yeah. Well, if not completely, anyway, he will make a VH to, to go around the wall like oh, that. Oh, 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 scout. I see it, oh, I see it. The scout, the scout. It First will delay, he was it will delay. Yes, he was microing the palisade yeah, the yeah. first, but then he went away, did something else, and yep. it, it did not go up. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, Fiat is in. Yeah, he's in. Idle at the other palisade for back T. Yeah, I see Cool also started to wall. Uh, the same for Yellow. Great player, yeah. that is. The militia from Red and Purple are gonna meet in a sec, I think. Yeah, but the Red yeah. is having the advantage with with having also the scouts. Now the there scout is a hill there. involved, let's yeah, see. It is. Well, back ah, these no. up. Back these already in feudal age. He's mm -hmm. having the barrack up and he's making the stable. Okay. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, but he can go in. He can go sneaking in. Sneaking in. Yeah. He will get the house builder. Yeah. Sending back the villager, the billager. And the next militia is moving in. <laughs> That's oh changing direction. Make more palisades. Out. Make more palisades. Come on, don't let him go away. Ooh. Yeah. He's gonna lose. I think the the scout probably. No, he changed around. Yeah, because okay, now four militias for Fiege. So who else is going up? Dogao is on the way to feudal. Wrath, Fiege. Uh, cool. I see. I still see him in in Dark Age making yeah. more villagers. He walled a lot, uh, and yes, he got he, he got the palisade up in the last second, so that the red sh uh, red rush could not enter. So he is fine for the moment. Look at ICCM resources, though crazy. Only now he's going up twenty seven. Yeah, Already checking. having four farms so early in the game. Whoa! Mm, he had he had a rough start apparently. Twenty seven pop is standard, and he clicked up, I would say, a minute late. Yeah. yeah, he lost a minute there somehow. Ooh, look now, Bakhti uh, going with uh, the scouts and a few villagers to, to fight. Fiege already lost his scout. Yep. Now, man, he's gonna lose some more. <coughs> now he's trying well, to go back. Yes, go ahead. What he, re what he really wants is uh, to keep um, back T in his base as long as possible, right? He doesn't want the scouts yeah. in his base. True, true. Oh, he's doing an okay job. Ah, he used he used the choke point to to fight one by one, and now back yeah. T has to delete them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart, yeah. <laughs> smart play by Fiat. Yeah, he's gonna lose, but at least he did some damage there, and he delayed back T yeah, for some he, time. He bought time. And that's what he wanted. Yep. And now Fiat, I don't see him getting uh, army buildings. All oh, right, there's he's the first making, yeah, range coming. Archery range. Now two scouts at the gold. Oh but man! <laughs> it's 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 enough villagers to fight those. With a little bit of micro, he doesn't have to lose a vill. Ah, but he's not microing. <laughs> no, one villager down. The the spear coming now, but he lost yeah. the villager. And he's making another spear. Cool. Okay, flaring. Up. Flaring in the south. Three oh, militia I didn't see Cool also inside inside the Miguel's base with yeah, Miguel, militias. Miguel yeah, yeah. walled really late. He's still not walled. Just no, no, no. Starting now. These purple militia are doing a hell lot of damage. Yeah, he did a lot. 
Well, he lost it in the end, but huh, he did his part anyway. Delayed yeah. on Miguel for some he time. Got, and he got the scout from uh, Green, so that's good. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm, Wrath making now the second stable. Dogao is halfway, yeah, 58% Castellage. The same is Wrath, 48%. Uh, Fiage having good resources to go up. Then I see Cool on the way to Castle Age, making the second stable as well. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just one thing, we didn't mention that Fiage has uh, a really bad map. Actually, all his golds and uh, yeah, or at least one stone are to the front. Um, his wood is really far, and the map is super open. Yeah, it uh, is. It that's is. why. That's why he's getting a tower at the main gold now. Yeah, to have it safe, and he's going um, for archer. Well, being Britain, of course, archers. Yeah. No, but I like how he deals with it. Other players would get enormous palisade walls. He is just being super efficient now, using every piece of wood and food he gets um, yes. to to be safe. He's not wasting resources on walling. Yep. With such a map. Oh, nice! Look, look at Barry Bakti. Now in Dogao's base, he killed a villager. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there was a builder. Yep. He built a house. But he now got Dogao micro. with knights out. Yeah, he's gonna defend pretty easy. Yeah, and he has to because there's the town center. Yes, it is coming up at the stone and gold. But he's sending the scouts. Ah, they have where to yeah. run. Okay. No problem for him. Well, still, uh, the, the scouts are still faster, so he can just uh, scout some more to see what Dogao is having, of course. Bo, but look now, Fiage will start to, uh, to stonewall. Stonewall, man. Mm, let me check map, his point of view. His map is terrible, really. Yeah, and these these walls will not protect him from archers, but since back T is Persians, um, we will probably see knights anyway. I see yeah. only one stable. Yeah. Oh, check it out! Wrath in Cool's base with knights at the gold. Oh, that Ooh. hurts. And the town center will not go up too soon. It's only 2k he's HP gonna lose now. at least two, three villagers. Yeah, the second one. And he's gonna lose one more, the third. Yes. Well, yeah, three villagers. Three dead villagers. How did he get in? Well, look. Did he break? Not oh, from the no, top? No, no. Exactly, yeah. he's not fully walled. Yeah. Cool. Well, it is minute 19. You should be prepared for enemy knights now. Yes, of course. Okay, uh, what is the VH axing? Ah, oh, yeah, the stone wall. VH is doing a huge stone wall, man. Huge, really. It's it's not huge, actually, when you count the tiles. This is... Oh, look at cool. Look at cool now coming with, yeah. with knights to, to Miguel's base. Let me put, I think... Oh, yeah, he's receiving resources from, from yellow. He's getting slinged. Okay. Dogao? It doesn't look like he's slinging. Maybe he just gave you him know, a boost. I was in his yeah. point of view. He's not He's not slinging. Uh, Wrath was trying to come with camels, but no upgrades at all. While look at, uh, look at Kool. Ouch. He's having yeah. plus two armor and plus one attack. So much stronger knights, obviously. And bloodlines. Yep. Yes, yes. And bloodlines. But Miguel is also now making a few camels. Mm. So... With the help from Wrath, I think he will be fine. But they, they are delayed. Look at Fish population, 42. Well, but it's not a big difference with ACCM, 44. 44 for Yellow as well. 42 for Bacti. I thought he was having more, actually, really. No, I was wondering myself. He was yes. late up to Castle. He only had one stable. And now he's fully walled. Yeah. Yep. They are Double Palisades. And Fiage as well. Walled, walled, stone walled almost completely. 
Oh, but look at look at cool. He break the palisades and, and is now in Miguel's base with knights. Oh, a few knights between the TCs and some more knights going to the gold. Oh, the main to gold. The gold. That will cost him. That will that will hurt him a lot. Even if the camels uh, yeah, are distracting yeah. the knights now, he is off gold. And, yes, and that puts him behind. He lost, man. He yeah, lost. and he has the hill. The camels are fighting uphill. Yeah. Camels without any. Oh, and look, look, poor uh, Miguel. He wanted to make another town center, but it's a knight there. This oh is no! A disaster, man. Oh Come no! On. That's just bad luck. Yeah. Yes, yeah, no. it was. Yeah. When you enter an enemy base with knights, it's always smart to send one knight to one corner, one to the other, just to find something, right? And yeah, yes, you got it. Yes. Wrath is coming now with more camels, plus one and armor at least. Yeah. He's still off gold and the wood is getting hit now. Uh, this is... look at the score dropping for Miguel now. Well... Uh, Jinx, because uh, Membrio actually uh, streamed the first three games, so he doesn't like to to restream. To, yeah, to he see. Has yeah, he has seen the games. He has, uh, he has seen the games already. Yes, and earlier that's why. today. Yep, he was the one to to stream in the morning, like four or five a.m. for him, six a.m. I don't know. It was very early anyway. The first three games, so he doesn't want to. Yeah. To redo it again. Anyway, let's go back. Well, Miguel hurt it a lot, man. Look at the population. 35 population, yeah. while the others are well above 50. The yep. fewest he in went, the Vietnamese team. Yeah. He went down to 34. It's, it's yes. a big, big blow here for Miguel. Fiat also very low. Um, these stone walls hurt him. Uh, I was saying <laughs> the opposite in, in Dark Age, but now in, few, in, in Castle they decided yeah, to true, get stone walls true. and he's only on 44 pop. Uh, oh man, and look at Miguel still losing more villages. It's unbelievable at, at the wood now. The again, again, Come ouch. On. And where is, um, sorry, who's Neymar again? Got my memory. Wrath. That's Wrath, yeah. Yes. Um, he's running around at the main gold. Um, well, he probably doesn't have cart or you don't get it that early, but is why is he not yeah. following the, the axes, the I flaring know. from Miguel? Yeah, he's he seems like to, to be uh, not in time wh wherever he's needed. Look, 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 his camel staying there while Miguel might lose another villager trying to build that TC. And probably, probably he will lose it. Look, yeah, yeah. look at that. Wrath, Wrath, Wrath was just not in time, man. Like Janet saying, he was walking around the the gold or the other way around. To be fair, knights and camels don't have a great line of sight, so sometimes yes. even if you are trying to follow the the flares, then you just don't find it sometimes. It's, oh it's man, looking at the flank now, back to putting more pressure on, on Fiage. Yep. With the siege workshop also forward, with monks now out. Probably he will get <laughs> those two archery ranges destroyed. Yeah. Well, now seems that cool is booming. He stopped for for some time to go military again. Fiat lost his army buildings now. Um, yes. Apart from one monk, he doesn't have anything to defend. Uh, the two spearmen at the gold will not uh, do the job. Save here. him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dogao getting in a lot of knights now from the side. Um, oh yeah, he's coming but, with a lot. But it's it's about the same number as um, Bakhti has. Yeah. It might be not enough, especially with the monks. Let's see. And with more upgrades for Bakhti. He's having True. plus one and plus two attack and defend and Dogao only plus two armor. No attack yeah. upgrade. Dogao focusing on the manganel and nice. taking some hits. Nice, so. nice, nice. Ah, but four more knights for Dogao moving in. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna lose all. Yeah, it's still not enough. Yeah. Yep. 
He focused on the monk, focused on the manganel, got some extra hits. Also, ACCM is moving in with camels and knights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's Yellow, check. now in Castellage, yes, go ahead, please. Back T, I was checking the siege workshop, yep, another Manganel coming up, so he will keep up the pressure. Yep. Dogao got fought back. F the point is, Fiat doesn't have anything, Dogao would have to fight 2v1 now. I don't know what, what Fiat had in mind here, just to wall and get no army at all. Well, he didn't expect probably this push, and, and now he's trying to, to catch up in economy probably, I mean not probably for sure, because he know that he needs a, a minimum, a decent yeah. economy to, to, to keep up. Yes, and he is on um, five town centers, am I counting correct? No, it's four in total. Um, he has 66 villages, but Bakhti has 85, you see that? Yeah. That, that stupid walling, I'm gonna call it like that, put him behind in economy actually. Exactly, I mean too much, it, it was too big, too big, too wall, too time consuming, resource consuming. Yeah. Dogao moving in with five more knights, but they will just die there. Well, yeah. he destroyed He's the mangonel, he did something, it was not for completely <laughs> nothing. Anyway, 106 population for him, Miguel, 67 pop, <laughs> 40 fight walls uh, now. Dogao. Oh, look at Wrath. Wrath is 60% yeah. uh, Imperial age. Nice. Oh, but yep. Cool is already in Imperial. And again inside Miguel's base. Yeah, Miguel was really weakened. And now he's, um, he's moving in with Halbs. And rams. and rams. I like that. I like that against Persians. I don't yes. know why no one expects it, but Alps and Rams are just super against Persians. Killers. Uh, especially if your enemy is behind, he will not be Imperial, he will not get chemistry, so he won't have hand cannons. Yeah, it's a good move from Cool. Well, on the other side, again, big fight between Dogao and Bakti, and seems that Dogao did well now. And it's ACCM, the one that is coming to help Bacti. Okay, Wrath just hit Imperial as well. Oh, look at look at Cool though coming with more and more and more rams, man. And now he's making the the battering uh, the capped ram. Sorry. I'm There's right. a, a big fight in front of Feech Base now. Dogao yes, threw in everything he had. And he had a good fight against ACCM at least. Pushed him away. Bakhti only has a few camels. Um, fast town center coming up from Bakhti now to secure the area. Yep. And Fiat, yeah, look at him. He only has his main gold. He's actually lucky he still has control over it. Yeah. Because Manganelt could hit that. Um, but all these other goals are outside. And fortified walls for <laughs> for Fishman fortified just to be sure. Yeah. But the situation looks very bad in this flank, in, in Miguel's flank. Yeah, with, let's uh, go back cool, to Miguel. Yeah, with cool pushing more and more and more. Yeah. He's moving in with the rams now. With rams, with a few knights and a lot of helps which how to counter only by himself. Well, he decided to, to move a few villages, and, probably. And uh, Wrath is on four camels, so... Uh, camels against Halbs. Halbs are we even know. weaker. We know how that ends. Yes. Um, this is... F I don't see how Miguel or Wrath would stop this. Miguel will lose his base eventually. Nice. ACCM preparing to, to build a castle on that hill not far from... Uh, back to his base, Dogao also moving forward with the castle and switching to, sp yeah. uh, to pikes as well. That's a good castle, it covers two golds and the stone for Fiege. And the back to, and back to a forward castle to cover the other uh, extra gold. Yeah, the two are in the north there. And now ACCM going Mamelux and Mamelux against knights, we know what that means. Mm, but... Dogao is also going for Halbs. Do you see the five barracks? Yeah, I see and it, I see it. Pikemen coming out already. 
Yeah, but uh, lo look at look at Miguel. Miguel, 61 population, man. While the others are around 100 or, or well above 100. The weakest yellow, yeah. th the Slinger, is even having 104 population. And now in Imperial, while Miguel, whoo, Miguel Castellage, man, and not too many chances yeah. to go up too soon. Miguel ran already. You see, he's building in the corner in the west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, building. He, he's he trying knew to rebuild. Yeah. He would lose the base. And I don't know what what Rat is doing. He's is he mixing in a few halps? No, only one barrack. No, I think those were, were just converted by by the okay. monks. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, Mamelukes are not not too bad, but it's still risky to send halps. Or Mama looks into halves. Well, let's see Dogao what he's doing. Trebuchet. Well, with those. Well, he's having a lot of halves, man. He, he can do some, some pretty good damage, but he's getting hit at the castle now from ACCM, which is making another castle, adding more siege workshops. He's having the safety of the other castle. Okay, Dogao with the Trebuchet out as well. Let's check ACCM. Uh, second trebuchet coming out. 27 population for Miguel, man. Th this game is 3 versus 4 now. And at this level, tell me. Uh, how is it I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the halbs from Dogao at the moment. It's yeah. 20 halbs and against 10 Mamelukes, but 2 castles also firing. Yeah. Let's close one. Now they're getting the first trap. They are, they are. And the second trap is falling, so now it's looking good for Dogawa. Uh, yes, it does. The Halbs did their job there. He lost a lot, but yeah. He managed to, to, to destroy those. Oh, come on, back to Don't let Dogawa come inside with the Cavaliers. Build the house. Oops. Oh oops. my god. Fast oh. wall. That was a fast Ooh, wall. <laughs> look at that in the last second, man! <laughs> nice! Well, Dogao now, four trebuchets hitting the castle, but look what, what a castle on the hill means, man. Really strong, much yeah. stronger on the hill than, than normal. Yeah. Time and momentum is so important in this game, and yeah, if you build it on a hill, you, it, it buys you time without... <laughs> Costing anything for you. And now it's yellow, just yellow coming to to help uh, cool with arbalest to deals uh, with the the mamelukes, and now uh, it's it, it's looking bad. Like I said, in this flank, th that does any of the team started the trade? No, but I see nope. markets from cool on one side and on the other side yellow, and ACC yep. already having the markets. Well, no markets for Brazil so far. Castle down in the end for ACCM, that one on the hill, but uh, Dogao lost also his castle and he's rebuilding one more castle yep. now. And now Bakhti is moving in from the north. Oh uh, yeah. And, and Dogao didn't uh, didn't keep GG, uh, man. the production up, yeah. yeah. Miguel, 24 GG. population, it was like impossible because next to, to get hit and, and having troubles was, uh, was Wrath. And they, they were having all this flank, all the left side in problems. They couldn't start the trade, so they couldn't hold yeah. too longer in the game. It we was obvious. Yeah. We didn't watch the big battle in the south. There was um, a big one at um, I was the moving. castle. Yeah, I was ah, okay. moving. Yeah, yeah. So, no, what I just noticed. Um, yellow brought some arbalests. So, yeah. And if it's Alps and arbalests against Mamelukes, that, of course, wins you the battle. So, yeah. it was GG there. Okay. Watching the achievements, changing the score. So, it's 1-0 for Vietnam A team. Changed. Military cool, did great, largest army, units killed, oh, he also lost quite a lot, Dogao also tried to, to make the best for his team, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough. And in economy, nice, Dogao received 12k resources from Fiege, so Fiege chose to, to sling man, and yellow 
slinged only like 5k resources to uh, to cool and uh, 1.2k to to back this or more sling for Brazil team but even so uh, they couldn't do too much man yeah I'm actually surprised to see 12,500 here from Fiat um, what was Dogao doing with it really I don't know yeah yeah well he was he was strong enough but it seemed that not not enough I don't know how to say it anyway yeah okay. and and there was a good move from ACCM and um, back T to go anti-knight so lots of knights wasted <laughs> 